Randy's wasting no time getting out in the fields. He's up at 5 a.m. It's going to be a long day. He might have goofed. He's got three fields to harvest. This is literally going to take until midnight. We out here. We're not stopping until it's done. This is episode 48 of Survival South America. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. It's, uh, it's July, and we've got quite a busy month on our hands here. You know, uh, we're going to see how it goes. How you doing? You know, you doing all right? I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing all right. But, uh, you know, one thing that's not doing all right is the diesel in our combine. It is pretty much empty. I had a quick peek at it this morning, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's real low. So, uh, we might be going through pretty much all of our jerry cans to solve that issue because we cannot afford to run out of diesel in this guy today. I was hoping we would have got to it before today, but unfortunately, we've just been so busy, which, you know, I guess good problem to have, but not a good problem just running out. So we're going to use a bunch of these jerry cans. That's been our go-to. And, uh, well, hopefully gets us through the day. If it doesn't, then I guess we're back to going into town and maybe we make a sale. I don't know. Dig these out of here, shall we? Eh, come on now. One... Two, three, eh, four. We'll leave one for good measure, and we'll start there. Right. Basically topped up, um, so we, we got to get out there, you know. I'm probably just going to spray the straw because uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. But then again, I mean, that is a fair bit of money, you know, maybe... Maybe we leave a field of straw and the rest we spray, but uh, we'll see how she goes. I think we'll get started with uh, this field over here and uh, continue on from there. I'm gonna try something here and see if I can unload directly into the silo. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh, all right, all right, doable. We can get there. Okay. It is doable. I know we're missing a lot, but there we go. So hey, we have that option, I guess. So that's helpful. We know the silo is working, so that's awesome. And we can unload, you know, right here or down in the truck there. So, that's useful. Um, hopefully, all those things combined means uh, we can actually get all these harvests done today. It's going to be close, though, and uh, I don't like it being this tight. I really was hoping these would overlap. They did not. The way she goes, but we're out here. We're going to try our best to get everything done. And, uh, well, really expect nothing less. Are we... Oh my god, I didn't lower it. I didn't lower it. So we probably just crushed a bunch of crop. Uh, jeez. Well, it's gonna be a long day. Strap in, Randy, get your head in the game.
that whole field is done, finally taken care of, and uh, we can put it behind us. I'm gonna move this uh, trailer in between these two fields here, and uh, just kind of continue on from there. I think I don't even know what field we're gonna do next, but uh, either way, I think if uh, we're doing this one, we're gonna have to rely on the trailer pretty much full time. This one, if we're smart, we can maybe use the trailer on the bottom and just unload directly on the top. Hopefully, we'll see. But, uh, you know, so far, one of three done. Absolutely no time to waste here. Oh gosh, as we head into our barley fields. It's already one o'clock, and uh, well, our biggest field is done, so that is good. But these other ones, I tell ya, they're, uh, they're still a fair size. This one, I think, is the bigger of the two barley fields we have, but either way, we got to get through them, you know. Hopefully, hopefully, we can do that in a reasonable amount of time. You know, I, I don't recall, I don't believe we've harvested this field with its new bigger size. So I think this should be interesting. I think I remember this combine reaching somewhere on the top side before it got completely full with like one full lap. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to do circular laps the whole time. I just wanted to kind of get the first one out of the way just to see what we're dealing with. And I would suspect we're, yeah, full right there. Um, so not quite enough for the top side here, but we can probably get two, maybe three strips in before we got to fully unload. So it is what it is. We're going to unload directly into here and, uh, well, just kind of get on with it do the best we can try and get done before the end of the day um, we have really no option it seems on this combine to spray the straw that's kind of unfortunate so we're just making swaths you know it's money but it is a lot of extra work so you know we'll we'll see when we can get to it and what field we can kind of prioritize to get turned around for the next harvest and so on and so forth but you know it's going to be a long day out here in this combine. We're doing okay, I believe, uh, for diesel as it stands. We still have about three quarters of a tank, so that is promising. I'm hoping it can get us through this harvest, of course, and, you know, both fields we have left, and maybe even our soybeans before it's empty. So, you know, pretty well lasting for all of our fields throughout the year and then we got to top it up with diesel so you know what that's not too bad but we might need to start buying like barrels of diesel or something like that to try and get it uh, topped up without I don't know, buying like 50 jerry cans at a time you know I don't know all good we're gonna keep on keeping on um, I suppose we should uh, maybe be smart here knowing that we're not gonna make it all the way up at the top there and let's just go unload and see where we end up. We didn't really leave ourselves too much room, unfortunately. So we're going to have to swing uh, this way. Oh, man. This does not have the best turning radius. We're going to need to probably reposition the truck. I don't know if it's even worth it. We'll wait until we come back with it and uh, fully unload the trailer again. So, there you go. We're going to keep on with it. Hopefully, we can get it done. I mean, this is... Uh, <laughs> we kind of did it to ourselves so there's really no complaining about it but i mean we just we need to do better we need to learn all right let's go
Finally, our second field is done. This is insane. Uh, the sun, you can see it's it's going down right now, just past the horizon. And uh, we're yeah, just wrapping up. Our second field, you know, we started on our biggest, and then uh, we've gone to the second biggest. Second, yeah, I don't know. The medium-sized one. And now we're going to go to the smaller one. Uh, sun's going to be down. For the most part, I think uh, we'll probably have to use the little lights we have on this guy. But, uh, you know, thankfully we're dropping off the same type of grain. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it all the way up to the silo now. So we're probably going to have to mostly be relying on the truck and trailer at this point. Um, I don't know how far we can get done until we, you know, have to unload. Hopefully it can be pretty much... A full lap we'll have to see now that's literally all we got for lights so is what it is we're on the third field now officially it's happening we're getting it done so uh, you know now it's just uh, just a matter of time this morning felt like it was never gonna get done we were up at 5 a.m. sharp out the door ready for this and uh, you know we, we were unloading at the silo not even done that medium field yet and it was uh going past five o'clock again i was like oh my gosh we've been out here for 12 hours on this rickety old combine the seat is hurting my butt but we're getting it done if it wasn't for this silo a hundred percent no way we were getting through this uh entire harvest you know we definitely would have had wasted crop that withered away so that is not good not a fan of that, but we're getting it done. Um, this is going to be a nighttime harvest, it looks like, for, uh, you know, majority of this field. But way she goes. It's, it's getting done, nonetheless. 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 And, uh, you know, we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep going until, uh, you know, until we can't no more. We'll go until, uh, go until we're done, to be honest with you. Um end of the day it's gonna be a rough one but that's the way she goes you know uh heck we, we probably still got more stuff coming up shortly after this like a soybean harvest you know i'm sure that's just right around the corner as well so you know the work never ends all this straw on the ground combined with our knowledge from the other day with all that grass work has me thinking you know a new wind rower is almost looking to be like top priority because if we could get one that combines two or even three of the wits that we're dropping here of the straw that would really really make our lives so much easier you know um like it right now we have to go over all these paths again and that means we have to go over everywhere that the combine's gone over again except with our baler set up for straw so it's going to be a lot of work, whereas if we can get a big wind rower, hopefully we can combine a few of the rows into, you know, let's say three into one. That would save two extra trips down that one lane, you know, and we would get a lot more of the process. So, you know, food for thought. I don't know if that's anything we could even afford right now, especially after buying our big silo. I would love it if we could, but, you know... Um, it might be a stretch, although we do have a fair amount of stuff to sell at the moment. We got lots of crates of soybeans I saw over there. We got some trees laying around. We could sell a little bit of wool, a little bit of honey, you know. Um, so there's not like a shortage of stuff to sell. It's just, you know, when the price is right, we got to get on it.
last little bit is done. Wow, that was, uh, that's an adventure right there. I don't know if I want to put myself through that again. You know, um, literally, we're coming up to midnight right now. Like, it's, uh, we start at 5 a.m. And it's coming up to midnight. You know, we've been out here literally all day. This machine has not stopped. But uh, at the same time, it's done amazing. It's, uh, it's gotten the job done. So I'll take it. Might not have been the fastest thing in the world. You know, yeah, the header could be bigger. Could go faster. Uh, could have a bigger hopper. You know, whatever. But uh, it's ours. It did the job. And I'm happy with it, you know. Um, if anything, it's just our fault on poor planning, you know, uh, on the timing of our harvests. So, the way she goes is what it is. We got it all done. I'm looking forward to parking this thing. Even if we got to get up and use it again tomorrow for the soybeans. I don't even know where we're at with those. But, uh, you know, either way, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this put away and hitting it. Hitting the hay, you know, hopping in the trailer and calling it a day. We're going to go, obviously, grab the truck and the trailer, unload the rest of what we got. And for now, I'm just going to park this guy right here because, uh, well, it is what it is. We're going to need it soon, even if it's not tomorrow. Got it all put away. Let's just swing around here real quick. Pretty much pull right up to the trailer. And, uh, well, I think just before we call it a night, I want to check and see how much we got. Because we got a silo. We can check that. 6,000 liters of barley and 10,000, almost 11,000 liters of oats. That's pretty awesome. You know, that's a fair bit. 35, 36, almost 40,000 liters harvested in one day. That is awesome. So that's going to have to be it. Thanks so much for staying with me. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Dirty Randy. Bye-bye.